Ty Williams never played a game of football until high school. My mom didn't never actually let me play growing up. She's like, oh, you could hurt yourself. And she was like, it was always like something little, oh, you could break a finger. I think she realized I was bigger than most of the other kids anyways. The Maryland native led his high school team to two state championships and decided to pursue playing college ball close to home at Georgetown University. When you look at him as a recruit and a player for you, you know, great kid, good student, really good football player. And one of those guys at both sides of the ball were fighting over. On September 5th, 2015, the Hoyas opened up the season at St. Francis University. We were pretty pumped up for this game and they had the, their offense had been driving the field and we get into the end zone. I've seen him make this play a thousand times. So he broke in and hit the tight end. Uh, tight end jumped a little bit. There was a big ooh noise. The crowd, both crowd just made a huge noise. I felt it in like my neck and my shoulders first. Like I felt that it was a really intense tingling pain, but then in just a few seconds after I could feel it all throughout my body. And then I was trying to just do a simple push up, just push myself over. And I couldn't even do that. It was tough just to kind of keep the kids focused, not worry on about the unknown because he wasn't with us. Ty was taken to a hospital in Altoona, Pennsylvania. There, doctors told him the impact of the hit caused a severe spinal cord injury at the base of his neck. What they tell you is, is basically what heals will heal whenever it decides to heal. And that's about all they know. After spending 12 days in ICU, Ty was transported to Atlanta, Georgia to one of the country's top spinal cord rehabilitation hospitals. The first month was re just really difficult. Really, really difficult. I was. My neck was in a lot of pain. My body was just not used to it yet. Things improved in the second month of rehab for Ty. The Hoyas had a bye week, so some of his teammates flew down to visit him. For me, it was hard because Ty was like a big, strong dude, and then to see him in a chair 60, 70 pounds less than what he was before, I was like, this is not Ty, but then when he opened his mouth and was started cracking jokes at us, it was able to be like, all right, this is still Ty, this is still my best friend. While Ty couldn't physically be on the sidelines, his teammates did all they could to symbolize his presence. Ty, just like any other person on our team, is an integral part of what we do and what we, what we stand for. Men for others, Sisu, all of those components of handling adversity Ty is there right now, and we need to represent that the best way possible. So what they decided to do is to put number twos on our helmets. Ty missed just one semester before he returned to Georgetown as both a student and a member of the Hoyas football program. Still number two on our roster. He's active in the team. You know, his work ethic and his training and what got him here as a student athlete to Georgetown, as a starter on our team, an impact player. None of that's changed. It's just a different goal and a different process. I'd tack this thing the same way I would, uh, you know, practice or watching practice film or a game. It's the same thing, you know, it's just a different battle. I just got to put in my effort for that day and just make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Morgan Uber.